With 90% of the population on the land, any development in agricultural technology would affect everybody. And in the seventh century, the agricultural inventions came, one after the other, to fundamentally change people's lives. The first was a new kind of plow. You see, up till then, the plow in general use had been little more than a, than a digging stick pulled by oxen. It came from the Mediterranean, where it's still in use today in the Middle East. And it was good enough for the job of turning over the light soil in that area. But up here in Northern Europe, it got you nowhere. Soil's too thick. So, when around 700 AD, this came along, it made a very big impression. It had wheels, it had a knife to cut through the sod, and the plowshare had a curved board attached to it. This new plow would cut through anything. Look. Hey! You see what the knife does? It cuts open the sod and makes it easier for the plowshare that follows. And then the curved board throws the soil up and away to one side, leaving a clean furrow. With a team of, say, eight oxen in front of this, you could farm the thick, rich land up here that no earlier plough could ever have done. It was bloody hard work, but it could be done. So by about 900 AD, this plough was opening up the north really fast, clearing the forests, producing more food. And in consequence, the population was rising. Woo! Now, in those days, this would have had a, a team of oxen up front, not a horse. The plough and the oxen were very expensive. Few peasant farmers could afford the whole deal. So they formed cooperatives, each man bringing what he could. And as they began to work close together, they began to live close together in big groups, villages. That's why villages happened. 